Hello everybody, this is Aisha Sheikh. So today I'm going to teach you how to subtract two digit numbers with a two digit number using the borrowing method. Borrowing was the toughest for me when I was a child and believe me, I never liked maths. But the way maths is being taught nowadays, it's so much fun and I wish we had this long ago. Nevertheless, I'm enjoying teaching maths now to all of you. So today I'm going to teach you a method that's called the borrowing method. Okay, so listen carefully and practice along with me. You'll have to watch this video, I think two, three times to understand this concept. And remember, nothing comes like that. You have to practice. When you practice, that's when you tend to ace that particular topic. So you would need a lot of practice towards the end of the video. I will share some sample questions for you and in my description I'm going to give you the answers for that so you can self-evaluate your work okay okay so let's begin this is your subtraction number sentence okay always remember to write the place value so units and that's tens okay minus five can you really find out three minus five always remember for subtraction the first number should always be the bigger one. 3 is smaller than 5. So we cannot take away. Now we need to borrow. How do we borrow? We are going to ask our neighbor, Mr. 8, to give us 1. So 3 goes walking to Mr. 8 and says, Knock, knock, Mr. 8, can you please give me 1? Mr. 8 is so kind. So he says, of course, Mr. 3. So, Mr. 8 gives 3 a 1. Then what happens to Mr. 8? He gave 1. So, Mr. 8 is left with 7. He gave away 1. So, there is 1 less with 8. So, 8, you take away 1. How many remains? That is 7. Okay. Once you do this, now you need to look at your units place. 13, take away 5. See, 3 became 13. Now you can subtract numbers. So, 13 take away 5 is how much? It is 8. We have already learned mental math. And I have also shown you how to subtract numbers. So, you can use the same strategy. And 7, take away 2 is 5. See, the same strategy we are going to do here as well. First, write the place value. 4 minus 6, uh-huh, we cannot do that. 4 is way too smaller. So, he goes to his neighbor, knock, knock, Mr. 7. I need a 1, please. 7 is as considerate as 8 over here. He says, of course, Mr. 4. So, he gives away 1. But 7 will remain 7? No, no, no. So what will be 7? Take away 1. That's 6. Why 6? Because 7 gave away its 1 to 4. And hence, 1 less than 7 makes it 6. So now it will be easy for us to take away 6 from 14. Because 14 is a big number. So let's take away 14 minus 6. What is 14 minus 6? It is 8. So now we are looking at the tens place. 6 take away 3. Why 6? Because 7 landed. 7 has given 1 to 4. That's why 7 has 1 less. And that's the reason you have got Mr. 6 here. 6 take away 3 gives you 3. Okay, we have another example. Quickly, let's look at this. 0 minus 3. Oh, oh, we cannot do that again. We have to knock Mr. 9's door and ask for 1. Knock, knock, Mr. 9. Give me a 1. 9 says, okay. 0 gets 1. That it, So it becomes 10. 9 becomes 8 because it gave away 1 to 0. Now, 10 minus 3 is 7. Let's look at the tens place. 8 minus 1 becomes 7. Okay, let's look at this example. 3 take away 1. 
Do I need to borrow? No. Because 3 is already a big number. We don't need to borrow. We can easily take away 1 from 3. 3 minus 1 is 2. Remember, that's the common mistake we do. Sometimes we can directly take away the big number from the small number. Yet we go and borrow and then, uh-oh, what if I borrow? And what if I do 13 here? If this becomes 13, 13 minus 1, that's 12. I cannot write 12 here. So we cannot do carry forward in subtraction, okay? Now, 2 minus 4. Yes, 2 minus 4. 2 is way too smaller. It needs to be big. So let's knock Mr. 1's door. Knock, knock. Give us a 1. It gives away 1. And 1. Go one number backward. It is 0. 12 minus 4 is 8. And 0 becomes 0. If you write, it's fine. Even if you don't write, it's absolutely fine. Okay? Now, let's look at this number. We have to write the place value first. Okay, once we do that, let's now look at the units place. 0, take away 2. Oh, oh. 0 is way too smaller. We need to knock the door of our neighbor. Oh, that's again another zero. Mm -hmm, it's not happening. So look at this. So Mr. 1 has to help both of them. So this zero becomes 10. While the second zero cannot become 10. You have to go backward. What comes before zero? Nothing comes before zero. Now remember, uh, before zero, when you cancel the second zero, you have to write number 9 because this is the order. Like if it was 4, you give away 1, you become 3. Then it is like this. So if it is 1, it became 0 last time. When it is 0, it goes back to 9. Okay? And the cycle continues. So this is 9, take away 3. The 1 now becomes 0. 10, now let's look at the units place. 10, take away 2. How much is 10 take away 2? It is 8. 9 take away 3, it is 6. And 0 minus, even if it is empty, it means 0, okay? 0 minus 0 is 0. If you write, it's fine. Even if you don't write, it's absolutely fine. Oh, I made a mess here. I wrote this. It's fine, I guess. Units, tens and hundreds. 3 take away 0. 3 is already a big number, so I don't need to borrow. 3 minus 0 is 3. 0 minus 0 is 0. 2 minus 1 is 1. That's it. Okay, that's it. Inshallah, I'll see you in my next video. Until then, take care. Allah Hafiz. God bless you. And loads and loads of love. Hmm. <laughs>